Mordecai, I'm not hogging the sunlight. It's a lamp. DJ, hello. Got me in chains. Isn't that a good song? I like that song. It's going to be even harder to keep Morty out of here now that um, he's obsessed with my lamp. I walked out for like just a second because I left my glasses in the bedroom and I couldn't see anything. And so I went to go get my glasses and I came back and he was there again. Sunbathing. Um... This needs a lot of work, <laughs> by the way. Um, but so far, so groovy, I guess. Little girl with and a long jacket. Wondered if that would be out, but I don't know. Hello, Meacher. Finally went to the gym. Oh, that's so exciting, DJ. Are you gonna gonna work on building some muscle, getting in shape, taking care of yourself? Now that I've been doing workouts regularly for over a year now, I don't know how I went by without working out for so long. Because it's just part, it's just part of my routine now. And it feels weird when I don't. Interesting. Um, I just scooped off some of this clay. Tarzan, hi! How's your night going? What kind of putty are you using? This is monster clay. Um, usually I use a Chavant NSP sulfur-free uh, plastiline. This is a sulfur-free oil-based elastic clay. This is my first time using it, and so far I'm in love. I uh, really like this clay, but welcome on in. A ghost? Boo. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Going back tomorrow? Don't overdo it, but have a good time.
I keep trying to just slightly file my nails and keep them kind of long so that I can paint them and have them cute. But already, since I'm sculpting, I just, I feel like I should just chop them off. They're so annoying. I've seen girls on like YouTube and stuff when studying all of this sculpt with like full on acrylic nails and I don't know how they do it. Just these semi longish natural nails are driving me bonkers. Hector, good evening. How are you? Hope you had a good day. Happy Monday. The optic camo did something to you. How is it making you a better player? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Hey, Mr. Giddy Kitty, I am working on a new prosthetic piece. This is going to be an avatar character. Technically, she's Navi, I guess. Have my little reference up there for y'all.
Um, sorry, I have to look at it certain angles. Okay. <gasps> Ron, hello. I've never seen that still. Seen what? Oh, the Avatar film? It's so good. Both of them. The new one is so stunning. Um... Which program do Jedi use to open PDF files? Adobe One Kenobi. That's hilarious. Sorry, I just saw that message. Anyway, posture check. Hydrate. Ninja. Yes, Avatar. Stretch. What's up? Victory screech. <laughs> I hope y'all had a fantastic Monday so far. I am, it's been a really long day. I'm pretty tired. So apologies for that. Good news of the day. I think I have my banner designed so I can get that ordered for Comic-Con. Um... And possibly my business cards as well. I think those are ready too. So yeah. Exciting. I really like to have Prop her up a little bit. Joey, hello. Um, I um it's on my iPad and I don't have that in here. <laughs> Excited about it though. I should be able to order it and get it very, very soon. Obviously, I need it <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> You just saw it yesterday? It's so good, isn't it? I loved it. Love the first one. Can't wait to see the new one. It's so good. 
I loved it. I'm almost thinking... I don't know if I should have any at all here. You okay? You okay, honey? Hello. How's the stream? So far, so good. I'm I really want this to look good. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how it's going to work exactly as far as um, gluing it down. I want it to be pretty low profile. Their noses are quite kind of flat. I'm building up this. But it comes out wide and then it it goes pretty small and so I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to explain I don't think I can do much explaining today my brain hurts it's your birthday <gasps> Casa, happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Costa. Happy birthday to you. You're welcome. <laughs> ah. Will say yes. Living God.
Aha, that looks more like it, which is good. I mean, I guess if it curves around the nostril, it should be fine when gluing it down. On Bobby's head, he sang every song that driving you. He's looking for that home, nope, he finds it. My trade on my tomorrows for a single yes. Good enough for me, my baby, my girl. Okay, getting somewhere. Need to watch the second movie still, still haven't. Uh, I have it, just haven't watched it. You have it and haven't watched it. It is, a, it is a lot of time to set aside, but oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. Joined you in the singing, so you weren't singing by yourself. Thank you, Annabeth. It's so awkward singing by yourself. Happy birthday. <laughs> Neighbors think you're crazy. <laughs> With the change in redesign of the stream, do you, did you choose to no longer have the slideshow of your past looks? I am bringing it back. I'm going to. Um, I honestly just haven't had the time to set aside to do it. I've been prepping for the con and stuff in any free time that I have. Um, when my computer died, um, it took everything with it. So I need to re-download um, all of the photos that go in the slideshow uh, because it pulls from your files. Um, so I just basically have to remake the slideshow. Um, I do want to have it back. I just haven't taken the time to bring it back, <laughs> if that makes sense. I still don't know where it's going.
But I know I love you. That may be all I need to know. Look at these eyes. Ah, they never seem to matter. Look at this stream. So sorry about my singing this song. I like it. So much I've never broken through. Sometimes I see so clearly the only truth I've ever known. Look at this song, still searching for salvation. This is going to be pretty challenging. What happened? <gasps> Me jerk gave the sub to Phase 6 and Oma. Thank you. Good thing about my parents then. <laughs> oh, Phase 6, thank you. <laughs> I can't help but sing sometimes. Makes perfect sense, actually. What a bummer. At least you now have a reason to sit down and update it, too, while you're at it. Exactly. I can add all my new ones. I just gotta get them all. Oh, y'all are so sweet. I really like that song. I love um, Aaron Neville. I'm basing this off of Kiri from the new film. And um I'm just I'm not gonna be able to look exactly like her, so obviously I just have to use my face and make it more avatar like, which is basically I mean what they do like the, with the actors. They're obviously not wearing they're obviously like CGI, but they do reference like her Usually they look like the actors, but like avatar form. Navi form. So what do you do? Make a mold of your face and a silicone kind of mix? Um, depends. There are different uh, materials that you can use. This is specifically a resin cast of my face. I took, um, I have a whole head cast that I did. I usually just take that. I already had a face cast and I uh, cleaned it up. It was breaking. It was an ultra cow 
uh, plaster cast of my face and um after many runs it decided to uh crumble apart and so um i made a resin version i actually just ran it this weekend and it turned out pretty good so glad it's nice and hard and um a little bit lighter weight than the ultra cow which is nice um, I sculpt in a clay. I usually use an oil-based clay. That way it can just, like, I can sculpt on it and work on it forever without worrying about it drying out or anything like that. And uh, you can reuse the clay over and over, which is nice. And then you mold that. And then you'll have a negative, and then this is your positive. Um, and you will run a, a prosthetic-grade material through it. I'm usually using foam latex. Uh, which is um, you mix up a bunch of different chemicals in a mixer and you pour it in your mold and you bake it for like many hours, like eight hours. And uh, then you have a prosthetic, foam latex prosthetic. I think I'm going to run this in silicone. I am new to silicone, um, but I'm going to try that. With silicone, you want to encapsulate it in, pla in a bald cat plastic as well cat plastic so um and it's all very expensive so <laughs> i haven't dabbled a whole lot in silicone but i plan to with this piece so y'all will be on the journey with me it's a whole process many many steps go into it but in the end you have a really badass makeup so and if y'all didn't um, hear me mention it before, I do plan to make an entire cosplay of this Navi character. And so um, I'm thrilled about that. I'm really excited. Someone we can lean on. Where we head, right on me. Be a play in my parking lot. My apologies. Getting sucked in. And up for the staff. What was I about to say? Steph, thank you so much for the resub. What the heck? Thank you. It's going to be awesome. I hope so. Hey, T Roy. Is this one for the con coming up? Um, Avatar is not. Avatar is going to be a pretty big project. Um, I have a lot of work to do for this. I'm hoping to have it done by Dragon Con in September, which would also be in time for Alabama Comic Con. Um, so fingers crossed we can get it done by September. I have some more fabric samples on the way. Um, I... I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do because I want it to be 
spectacular. Did you teach yourself all this? Yes, I did. I'm very proud of that because I studied for years and years <laughs> on my own trying to uh, learn this stuff. I actually like consumed as much information as I possibly could before I ever bought any supplies because you you it's expensive to get everything you need. Um, and uh, so I was hopefully as prepared as I could be for my first ever attempt, and I think it went really well. So that was thanks to all of the studying that I did. And still do. Like, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. It was a good investment, but it's very expensive. It's so expensive, V6. It's ridiculous. Especially when you think, like, f technically, foam latex, I get out cheaper product-wise. The foam latex itself is less expensive. But you have to take into account, like, you have to bake it. So you need an oven. You need a mixer, a standing mixer that you don't use for food. And you can't use your oven that you do for food. You have to have a separate oven, a separate mixer for mixing your latex, um, molding supplies on top of the SFX supplies, and then all the paint and makeup and stuff that it takes to paint it, which is very expensive. Um, silicone is even more expensive, but you don't have to have an oven and a mixer, but those are one-time purchases. Silicone and cat plastic, you have to purchase, you know, your quantities every time you get it. And like a little thing of cat plastic, $70, you know? It's just, it's, <laughs> it racks up, that's for sure, but it is worth it. You just gotta know what you're getting into, I guess. Save up. A lot of stuff goes bad if you don't use it in time. Oh, yes, that too. For sure. I've had la foam latex uh, go bad on me. I've had, um,. There was something else. I don't know. I've definitely had it happen. So yeah, it may be cheaper to buy bulk, but if you can't use it in time, then it's useless. So been living at the ballpark, but I wouldn't change a thing. I love that. My sister has too. Gosh, this hit sports takes up just so much time. It's incredible. I have hair. The clay, the sculpting tools. It's a lot. A lot of stuff. It's all worth it, 100%. Especially ones like this project. It's going to be used for a cosplay. So I'm going to have a whole character. I'll be using it for multiple cons. It'll be great. Um, I have reused prosthetics that I've pulled off of my face. I have also just reused the mold to run new ones. So, you know, try not to be wasteful or anything like that. God, her nose looks different in different shots. Like, these two look a certain way, and then these two look smoother. That they're gonna get away from us.
Okay. Get a little sausage. Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausages? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's why to start out, out with my craft room, I'm getting most of the things from the dollar store just to see if it's something I want to do. But I learn best diving in. Some people do. Some people do. Um, personally, I, I do a lot of uh, studying and learning before I ever touch anything. Um... I believe Meecher is like you, Annabeth, if I remember correctly. <laughs> this is similar discussion. Um, in fact, I feel like I might be an oddball in the whole... Uh, I'm just... Maybe I have a fear that if I... That I'm going to, like, waste money. I think that may be where it stems from i'm afraid of, of just wasting time and money so i want to learn as much as i can so i can go in and just be good at it <laughs> immediately not in this life hello just heard tom green with an alabama accent <laughs> I feel like my dad is like you always. I'm like, Dad. Probably. Everybody learns different. It's so weird. I'm not sure I've ever, like, dove right into, like, anything. I have to read a bunch before I start a new thing. Like DIY house project or something. Oh, I consume as much information on whatever it is as I possibly can. You could probably quiz me on, on this stuff. <laughs> Running out of time. Put out the door.
Baby, write this down. Take a little note to remind you in case you didn't know. Thinking, no. Stick it on your refrigerator door. And I don't want you to write this down. I want it to be pretty thin, but if it's too thin, that won't be good. Luckily, we are going to use silicone, which does a little better with super thin pieces. Every day. Okay.
get this in post now. Oops. I just messed with about everything but the roof. I messed with just about everything but the roof. Like, um, like, um, home improvement type, type stuff. I'm sure it's fine. I, uh, dropped my plate that I ate my sandwich off of a second ago. I had it in a precarious place that I shouldn't have. Get some sleep, Hector. Sleep well, sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. What you, what you gonna do now? I'm the fireman. Y'all, I keep trying to think about my... What am I trying to say? My panel for Comic-Con. I'm super nervous. I'm not gonna lie about it. I think it's gonna go well. I just, I don't know. I'm worried about my nerves, I guess. Watch it melt. Don't burn yourself from the fire, man. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. Um, gonna be a bit awkward to glue down, but I just don't want to take too much off of here, because all of their noses it goes real wide here and then down to here and right now it's pretty straight still anyway um Allergic to one at a time.
don't lie, but I love you. Seems that I'm on my way. I'm trying to decide. Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be wrong now. Impacting caps. Hello. How are you? Negan, hello. How are you? Sorry, guys. Worried about your panel, you said? Yeah, I got a panel. I'm a cosplay guest at um, My Hero Con coming up. June 3rd and 4th, and I have a panel, and I'm scared. <laughs> At least you already ate the sandwich. It's true, there was no sandwich, just a couple of crumbs. What happened? Thank you, Impact. Thank you for the follow. Um, I don't think about it. Just do. Oh, wait. No, don't think about it. Well, I gotta think about it because I gotta know what I'm gonna say, but like, I <laughs> also don't quite know exactly what to expect. I hope there's lots of questions and um, I can just answer. I'm great at answering uh, questions, just not good. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried in a very long time. Not sure how good I'll be just going up and talking, you know what I mean? Just been chilling, nice. What is a panel? Um, basically, people can come, so you'll have a topic um that you'll host about something that you know about which is uh, clearly for me it's going to be makeup um i think i called it what did i call it i think i called it cosplay spe special effects cosplay makeup or something anyway um, I'm going to talk about uh, the different levels of makeup and how they can be used in cosplay. Um, and people can ask questions and you basically just have a panel discussion about the topic. I'm scared. Um, Suze, yeah, I am. I'm really excited. Got your feet up after a workout. Nice, nice. If you need good G, you'll be there. Thank you. Why are you so awesome? Why are you so serious? I don't know why that took me there, but it did. You talk on Twitch. You do well at that. I think you'll do a good job. Um, thing is, I can't see your faces. I know you're here. 
So you'd think it would be scary, but um, I can't see your faces. I've also been great on stage if it's a very large stage with bright lights and I can't see the crowd. Um, like I did dance and stuff when I was a kid and I was, I was fine with that. I did talent shows in like elementary school, but still, you know. But you can't really see individual people. But when it's a small thing and there's like you can see everyone, that's when I get really, really nervous. Uh, but it's been a while. And the last time I tried to talk in front of, actually, it was an adult. It was my last job. I had to talk about what my department did because my boss was out and she was the one who normally did it. And she was like, yo, you got to talk to these people and explain our department. And I was like, oh, no, I don't like that. And it was like four people and they were just staring at me. But the thing with that was they were not interested in being there. And here they will be interested in being there and hearing what I have to say. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the room. Right. So if they're coming to my panel, it's because they want to hear about what I want, what I'm talking about. So I think it's going to be fine. I'm just going to have to laugh at myself in the very beginning so that I'm not terrified. That's always my go-to. Make fun of myself and go from there. <laughs> not for real, but I have to... Uh... It's my, I'm socially awkward. I'm a makeup artist. And so, Randall, hello, how are you? I'm a makeup artist. So um, there's been a lot of times where I'm out of my comfort zone, one-on-one uh, -on -one with a bride or a pageant kid or something. And um, I'm doing their makeup. And I'm not a super chatty Kathy. And I don't want it to be super awkward and super quiet. And so I immediately make jokes about how uncomfortable I am. And it makes everything better because then we're all on the same page. Yes, I understand I'm socially awkward. Welcome. Hello. This is me. And then it's okay. Don't wear glasses or contacts. I probably won't just because of the cosplay I'm in anyway. Um, so that should help. Everyone will be blurry. <laughs> When's this going to happen? June 3rd and 4th. I will also be guesting at Alabama Comic Con in September. You want to come? I mean, you can come to this one too, but I know it's a little late notice. Ew. I warmed this up and then I started twisting it. Look how... Oh! That looks... That looks wrong. <laughs> Is this clay? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it looked interesting, <laughs> and then it, and then it looked, <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, change the subject, I get that is different, I think you'll do well, thank you, Mr. Giddy Kitty, I keep telling myself I'm gonna do fine, and, um, so I will, speaking into existence, my hero con is gonna be a blast, I am really excited about it, Jolie. Really excited about it. It's just it's my first time. Um, and so I think I'm going to be anxious because I don't know like what to expect or whatever. Looks like she got that from the toilet. <laughs> I'm just playing with the duty. Um, <laughs> Come on, Annabeth. Come on, y'all can all come. All surprise always. I would die of excitement. Who recognize me? I do Patrick's voice. <laughs> I love it. It was so spot on. I love Redders. Redders Cosplay has done that company's con before. She can offer advice. I I need to ask her some tips. I know she was at the uh, Alabama Comic Con. We met there. Um, last year, and then I saw her again at 
Magic City Con, was it? I think. Um, and we chat on Instagram sometimes. <laughs> um, good, good point. Maybe I should ask for some tips. Why tell her if we're going to surprise her? <laughs> I'll forget. <laughs> I remember Andy Ray did her first judging panel for TwitchCon. She did it before, but not for TwitchCon. Oh, wow. Oh, I bet. That was a big con. I would be terrified, but I bet she was fantastic. Oh, Impact, thank you. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. I got the southern accent. I was going to say, where is this? I'll show up with my laptop or phone in front of me and watch you through it. Maybe that'll make you feel <laughs> normal. <laughs> I love it. I think I am going to stream at least for a little while from the con as well. So just like a mobile stream. Um, just to be fair. I'm not going to feel like streaming before or after. And I'm probably going to regret working the Monday after. But, you know, it's fine. It's going to be fine. No playing with your food even after digestion. I'm over here still twirling this. <laughs> still twirling this. I'm trying to decide what to do. Okay, so... Hmm. I can see, like, this is about as far in as I can go, unless I do it here and then I give the illusion that it comes out. But if I do it too much, then I'm going to look cross-eyed, right? Because my eyes are this close together. Like, I'm not able to sculpt my eyes further apart. So... I will because I'm going to be there all day and we'll be chilling at the booth for all day, both days. We'll be chilling at the booth. So we should be able to just do a little mobile stream and uh, chitty chat while the con's going on. Should be a good time. This is in front row with the laptop. <laughs> yes. You're from Australia? Oh, then you have a beautiful accent. I already know it. I love an Aussie accent. I think it's funny because I was always like, I always wanted to go to Australia and all this stuff. And I've always loved an Australian accent. And then I realized why and where that started. Well, where that started from. You know, it's always like something that kind of makes you want to go somewhere or whatever. It's Mary Kate Nashley. <laughs> Mary Kate Nashley, our lips are sealed. Anyone? Anyone a Mary Kate Nashley fan? I was obsessed with them. I wanted to be them. My Nana told me I looked like them, which I didn't, but thank you, Nana. It was a really big compliment. I just, I wanted to be them. And I loved that movie, and in the end, they wind up there. But uh, spoiler, if you haven't seen that movie, I doubt you're planning on it. So there's that. <laughs> Could stream your panel. I was scared. <laughs> Y'all will laugh at me. You'll be like, who is this nervous always? I've never met her before. Didn't tell me where, but I don't know where. It's my hero con, Alabama. You can look it up, but it is the BJCC in Birmingham, Alabama. Both of the cons will be there, so September will be there as well. That one's Alabama Comic Con. Just be focused on the camera. 
Maybe that would help. Pretend like I'm streaming. Didn't get the connection at all. I was thinking, did the twins do Australian accents? No, they're in the witness protection program. And they kept failing out of it. They kept giving away their information and messing it up. And they, they had a criminal after them. And they wound up in Australia. It was their last hope. And the witness protection program it was the last place they could, they could take them. <laughs> please, please, during your panel, say this is hard. I wouldn't be surprised if I did it without even meaning to. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I can see it now. A giant sign. I'm so scared. <laughs> what well, was the theme of the movie? The song Our Lips Are Sealed. Our Lips Are Sealed. Um. No. Yes, no. I don't remember. Now it really looks like a turd. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was, I don't think, I'm, I'm hearing that song in my head and I'm like, that is a song from that era, but I think that was after that movie. Pretty sure. I don't know. I don't, I want to say the movie came out before that song came out. If, if not, it maybe it was in the in the movie. It's been a while, but I don't think so. And I'm I'm singing it in the in the Hillary Duff version. Helmet's almost here. It's in Atlanta. Exciting. <gasps> Exciting. I may be totally wrong, but I want to say that song came out for something else after that movie. Oh, that's okay, Annabeth. Maybe you could plan for September and I'll have a little bit of experience. I'll be, you know, a professional in my panel. Here <laughs> you come. <laughs> Uh, what am I trying to do? Song request. Thank you for the song request, Annabeth. Oh, this is it. This is the song. I'm excited. Because <laughs> now it's kind of stuck in my head and all I know is that one words, apparently. Those four words. Yes, I just counted them. Shut up. <laughs> If I ever saw you all, I'd probably hide, just like I did at TwitchCon last year, because meeting my favorite streamers is like meeting celebrities. No way, Negan, you better not ever. Don't you dare hide from me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a panel for both. I'm assuming I will, because I didn't realize that I did for this one. And they were just like, hey, can you fill this out for your panel? And I was like, oh. And they're like, we're scheduling you for Sunday. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to ask because <laughs> I didn't want to have, I didn't want, I don't I look, my social anxiety is too much. I thought about this. It sounds stupid if I say it out loud, so I'm not going to say what I was thinking in my head. <laughs> But I didn't want to ask. I was just going to let them ask me. <laughs> Am I here academia question for you? What is it? Original is 81. Not sure of the Duff version. Uh, okay, see, this is the only one I know of. Hey. Our lips are sealed. I did not realize that there was an original. I bet it's so much better. This is the only one I know. 
Good thing you don't know what I look like. What you making here? I am going to turn myself into Kitty from the Avatar 2 Way of Water. Um, I've got a little reference over there of her. And um, yeah, we're just sculpting. Um, this will be a prosthetic for my face. This is uh, clay. We'll do a mold and run it with silicone, I think, this time. Normally, I work with foam latex, but we're going to go with a silicone piece. I'm making it quite thin, um, so silicone is probably my best bet. But I'm new at silicone, so uh, it's going to take a little practice, I should say. It doesn't matter what they say. In the jealous games people play Our lips are sealed Maybe if I just build this out A little bit I think it's funny that, I don't know, never mind. I don't know where I was going to go with that. I'm a fan of the blue people, same. I love Avatar. The movies are just so stunning to me visually. It's, so ooh, excuse me, I burped. Such a treat to, to watch them. Like, could you imagine going to Pandora? Like, ugh, I would die. I would literally die. You're from the South, aren't you? No, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I made that up. Yes, I'm from the South. <laughs> Let's compare the. Oh, you got the link. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, thank you for the song request, Zeus. What did I miss? I missed several stuff. Dookie and a bet we did make a dookie. Um it looks like a turd. Anyway, I've I've ruined it now. I'm using the, the turd to sculpt with now. Say it, it's okay. <laughs> Are you going to be there? I'll be there Saturday and Sunday all day. Uh but my panel will be on Sunday. Uh, I'm trying to see what I missed. Be starstruck if I met you. I'm messing up my words. Aww. <gasps> Joey, get to the subject impact. Thank you. All right, let's play this, uh, this version. Ooh, I like it better already. Glad you finally saw a way of... It's stunning. Ugh. <gasps> It's so pretty. The film is so pretty. But, you know, what's his face? I don't want to give any spoilers. Pisses me off. Every time I see him, he makes me want to punch him in the nose. Um, <laughs> but other than that. Now I wonder if it's in the Mary Kate and Ashley movie. It is. Now that I'm hearing the original, I'm thinking this is in the movie. Canadian, really? You have a big accent? That's weird. The south of Canada. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know it's hostile, probably. But if I had an avatar and I could be a blue person, love the Go-Go's. Maybe this is the original, wait. Is there more? How many versions of this are there? Confusion. It was also in Cinderella's story. This is where I'm here. That's what, and that's why she did. Okay, I don't think this. That's where I'm, okay. I love a Cinderella story. It's one of my favorites. And I was a huge Hillary Duff fan. Ryle, blue people rule 100%. I decided that I think I want to start calling humans sky people and demons. <laughs> When I'm irritated with um, humans that aren't great, I'm just going to call them demon. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. Demon. That's what Natiri <laughs> says to what's his face. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to give any spoilers for those who haven't seen it yet, but she says something along those lines. All right, let's try this one. Is this the original? What is this? This is another song request. We got all the song requests. A little snowman or ghost. This is an interesting version. I don't like this one as much as the others. This side looks better than the other side, and I don't know why. Woo! Whistle, whistle, whistle. Ads. Ah, uh, <laughs> here's another song request. Oh, I had the chat stopped because I was scrolled up. 
I like that the blue people are very tall. I know, and that's gonna like totally ruin my cosplay because I'm 5'2". I'm so short. But it's okay. It's gonna be fine. If only I was one of those tall, stunning Amazon women. It's okay. I do a lot of characters where I look far too small, like Jack Sparrow. I'm a very small man. Pennywise, somehow I still creep people out, even though I am very small. So that one's fine. So far, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm gonna have to keep messing with it. <laughs> yeah, that walk around. Good one, Annabeth. I'm just realizing what this, I was just jamming along without realizing. Sky demons, yes. Hey Zone, how are you? The Go Go's was the original. Okay. I like it, right? Blue Land. Let's go there. Who is this? Who is this? Nitiri. I'm um, not Nitiri. Kiri. Their adopted child. Oh, you meant who is this singing? Fun Boy 3. Annabeth had it. Anyway, the Go-Go's are great. You should check them out. Loved their lead singer. It's so pretty. I have heard uh, their like more popular songs. And now I'm realizing I've heard that version. But I think it was because of the Cinderella story. Um, You're 5'2". I'm 6'1". You're like an entire foot taller than me. <laughs> Those leg stilts. The thing is, it's mostly in their torso, their proportions. Uh, they have very long necks and very long torsos. So I think just having extra long legs would not do me any good. Also, um, the suit is going to be like skin tight because it's supposed to just look like skin. And so there really wouldn't be a way to um, do the legs. But not a bad idea. <laughs> one of the children. I mean, technically I am one of the kids. Just not this. Maybe I should have been the smallest kid. Maybe I should have been Took. <gasps> I should have done Took. Oh, my heart. Okay. Anyway, I love Took. That was a fantastic song. One of my faves. All right, you're so sweet. You're six three, and you like that. God, you gonna break your neck trying to kiss a little five three girl? <laughs> Ow! Stuck. Got stuck. I think it's uh the opening the opening uh opening scene, Zeus. Get the stuffs that are too low for tall people. I have to climb the shelves to like get something that I want. Or if there's a tall person nearby, ask them to reach for it. But I don't do that because I don't talk to strangers. 
Decided to try an experiment with my cosplay, the vinyl PVC leggings that got torn. Ooh, what are you gonna do with them? Took. She's so cute. You're a 6 3 as well. Why are y'all so tall? Good gracious. Nah, -uh, you are not. You're just playing along, V6. Y'all are not all 6 3. Not every one of y'all. <laughs> that would be bizarre. Need to watch it again. Been forever. Good movie from what I can remember. Cinderella story. It's so good. I love it. And like all the girls are like, ah, for Chad Michael Murray. <laughs> Even though honestly, I watched it literally not too long ago and it's so kind of cringe. But I love it. I feel like Hilary Duff is a very cringe actress, but it was like, she's so cute. I love her. You're 5'10"? German and African ancestry. Nice. 6'2 here. You're pretty much 6'3 too. Good grief. Y'all are so tall. My B-day today just means I'm getting older and shrinking. <laughs> That's what happens, uh... I swear my great-grandma kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You're a tree. You wear size 14 shoe. Good gracious. Good gracious. I have miniature little feet, too. I'm a size 7. My Nana, though, she's a size five shoe. And I'm like, how do you even balance on those tiny little feet? My great grandmother was the literal best. I used to make fun of the way she ate French fries. And um, she used to sing to me in the car. And they'd pick me up from school. <clears throat> basically, I have patches of vinyl PVC. I basically glued them on the torn area of the leggings with contact cement glue and once it dried i coated it with 3d paint since the 3d paint when it dries turns to a vinyl like material is it turning out sounds like it could work also you were saying that being skin tight because it's literally skin but honestly you paint your skin on camera so you got this I understand it being uncomfortable um, what was I saying that for? I can't remember. Oh, I was more or less talking about like if I tried any sort of thing to make me taller. Um, you would see any sort of contraption. You wouldn't be able to really make it look realistic. But... Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Um, it's going to be hard work, the suit. The suit and then like uh, other contraptions like the tail. And then there's an element I don't want to tell you yet. <laughs> um... So I kind of want it to be exciting, a little surprise, but there's an extra element that I want to add that I think will be really cool. Sorry, I'm brain farting. Wear my shoe while wearing your shoe. Probably.
biologically and structurally taller is much more prone to energy. The be tall societal stigma is poorly conceived. Makes sense, I guess. My dad was six feet before getting older, of course. My mom was 5'11". <sighs> Their old spines are, sh spines are shrinking. Dominic Martin, hello, how are you? Going well over here. Knock on wood, I'm not very accident prone, but I do have to bend over or shopping, but people love when I come by, so reaching for top shelf stuff. I bet they do. Oh, hello, giant human. Could you reach this for me? Thank you. It's gonna be tight but stretchy material yes and I'm actually looking for originally I was looking for more like an athletic um, type material but then I realized I really want it to be thinner because I really want you I want it to almost be like tights where it barely even wrinkles um, I'm going to have to tailor it very specifically to try and look as smooth as possible. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a suit. I want it to look like I'm naked. <laughs> I want it to look like my skin. I don't, and I don't want a body paint because for one, um, not many cons allow body paint for costumes. You have to have actual fabric on, um, Obviously, they have, like, the, the loincloths and all the stuff that covers them, but still probably wouldn't be enough. <laughs> um, and I would not be comfortable going out in body paint. And it takes me eight hours just for this much body paint. Um, and then I would need, like, I would literally need a whole team if I was going to do body paint. I want a suit, but I don't want it to look like a suit. Right, not ripples or wrinkles, exactly. So I got a few more fabric samples because I was looking for, I, I'm not familiar enough with fabric. I was literally looking up like, can you buy material that tights are made out of? And it was like giving me leggings. And I'm like, no, I mean tights like pantyhose. And I did a lot of research and then I tried to find fabric that would be closest to that. It still needs to be opaque, but I want it to stretch and go on like tights do. Anyway, so I got a few more fabric samples to see if I can find what I'm looking for. You're 6'6? Six, six? Good gracious! You guys are tall! Oh my gosh. I'm just imagining if I met y'all in person, I'd be going like breaking my neck trying to have a conversation. My brother's very tall, and I literally have to tell him to back up so I can talk to him without breaking my neck. <laughs> Tall folks among us, short queens, right? We're tiny on a bath. <laughs> Going to sleep soon. Is the Goku cosplay fully finished? It's finished except for the patch, which um, Suspicious Tumble here on Twitch uh, made it for me. And um, I don't know if she sent it out yet, but she's going to send it to me. I hope I get it in time for this con coming up. But um, yeah, it's all put together. I just need to add the patch and it'll be done. I'm not doing a wig or anything like that for this one. It's a comfy cosplay. You're 5'6". I'm 5'2". Sitting 
front seat at the movies. Who does that as a choice, by the way? Uh, yeah, that's exactly how I feel trying to talk to y'all tall people. Yeah, who does that by choice? Because that's bizarre. I want to be in the very, 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 very back. <laughs> Best option you have for your suit to be smooth and super skin tight is latex not vinyl or pvc i mean real latex but it's crazy expensive yeah i don't want to do that also real latex it can be a bit shiny though and i don't want it to be shiny i want it to be soft uh, but i'm gonna paint it which is gonna help with the skin like appearance um i'm gonna try to get a really nice realistic paint job with the markings and strikes that they've got um, so I think I can do it. I just don't want it to be wrinkly. I want it to be perfectly tailored. You're 5'9"? Tall. You're all tall. Like half an inch, Annabeth. <laughs> I can't fit anywhere and I'm only 6'1". Yeah, it's crazy. I said a tad. <laughs> it barely even counts. <laughs> No more. Midnight skies, the road I'm taking. You know it's true, I don't know how this is looking. Hopefully good. <laughs> I thought it was looking good before and it was looking awful. So it's always good to come back for your next look and see how bad or good it's looking. I just realized I have become quite ambidextrous from body painting, and that is really exciting. Because easier to get like the opposite side of whatever I'm working on. My left hand, I mean, I'm not like quite there, but you know.
Worked on and driven small cars all my life. Need the shortness. You know as well as I do that half an inch is everything. <laughs> Why is that true? You want a few inches so I can fit in a car a bit more? That's hilarious. As for my leggings, the 3D paint, it does coat it and dries if the texture is uneven. I'm not liking it. I have a few options before I give up on it. If it doesn't work out, maybe you could uh, use the fabric, I don't know, to like uh, make something else. I don't know what, but I don't know. I'm sure you can figure something out. My friend bought a house, but short people lived there. He's around my height. That railing is not saving us from falling from the second floor. Oh my gosh, he needs to build that up a few more feet. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Us tall people have to lay down in the car just to get in. <laughs> Very proud of my high. Honestly, it worked for every half inch. I am past for eight. Planning on driving a Chevy Malibu in July, 10 hours to Florida, and I have the seat all the way back and the seat reclined. Oh my gosh. I have to be like all up in the steering wheel because I'm too short. After driving SUV for so long, my old car feels like a go-kart. This looks cool. Was it going to be for? I am uh, doing a Kitty cosplay. She is over there um, on the screen from Avatar 2 Way of Water. Certainly an important skill for body painting. Never mind, figured it out. <laughs> Did you see the picture? It's all right. Maybe we want to hear the story, Annabeth. Sean, hello. Going good. How are you? My company car is a 2020 Mini Cooper. Tradition. The works. Fun set. It's fun and easy to get around in cities, but it does take a toll on long drives. Ooh, I bet. Sculpting is going good, I think. It's pretty hard because I'm wanting it to be as... <sighs> it's just, it's hard, but it's going well, I think. The big, I was like, oops, stupid question. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, I think a lot of people have asked, so it's okay. Avatar mask? Yes. Let's hear it, Annabeth. You've sparked our curiosity. What I said. Feel like a dead. The winter gets cold outside, and you got nobody to love. Understand what I mean when I say there's no way we're gonna give up.
can you get my back? Oh. Is there anyone out there? Oh. Hey. Just got home. Were you um, working today? Are you happy to be home? Who are you again? I just got here. <laughs> See, Roy. I have a few other latex leggings and they are way much higher quality. My friend says it's my fault because I choose. I chose low quality vinyl leggings. The thing is, I don't want to start all over again. The leggings tore because the vinyl bloated and peeled from the base textile material. It comes layered over. Oh, interesting. I mean, it happens. All right, it'll be okay. If you have to start over, you have to start over. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Get food, Zeus. Get food. Need your sustenance. Don't let it go. Don't let it slip away. Damn it. Don't let it go. You're gonna lose control. A little too thin.
Okay. Juju apple, he won't holy roller. <sighs> oh, I missed the story almost. I don't feel tall when I try to do things like make dinner and get into cars, etc. I feel it. <laughs> Everything's made for shorter, smaller people, I guess. <laughs> I realized recently how short my bathroom sink is. 